Hello students, welcome to your today's education. I am Jitendra Tiyagi. So right now I welcome one of our students uh, who is Deepak Kumar, uh, who is currently pursuing his M.Tech in Data Science from IIT Jodhpur. Okay, so we will discuss with Deepak Kumar various things uh, so that the information we get uh, may be helpful for many of the students. So first of all, Deepak, Deepak, many, many congratulations for uh, going into IIT Jodhpur and pursuing M.Tech in most demanded branch nowadays. And uh, in starting, you just tell us about your uh, background from your B.Tech, from where you completed your B.Tech, your passing year, CGPA category, everything, whatever you want to mention. Okay, first of all, thank you, sir, uh, for giving me this opportunity. And I am thankful for the your video also who guided me a lot in my this journey and like uh, uh, you asked me the, about the my btech journey and all that so i uh, done my btech from nit kurukshetra and uh, okay. before this i am passed out from mavadya also and uh, right uh, right now i am pursuing my, my data science data and computational science and my gate score like uh, 410 EC branch and I am from belong to category, right? So that's all I think. Okay. So Deepak, you are from NIT Krukshetra. In which year you completed your BTEC? Uh, sir, 2018, sir. Okay, 2018. Yeah. And uh, in which branch? Uh, electrical engineering, sir. Electrical. Okay. So electrical students now in data science right we can say yeah okay and your cgp was how much uh, it's seven 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 cgpa basically uh, the reason behind they are i think selecting me here that uh, the all are in data science are like all are from uh, nit background so i think this is the most reason behind it uh, i okay, can so say that they have uh, some criteria for cfta also they prefer yeah. CFTI students, right? So that yeah. is why uh, that is also important factor in your selection there. Yeah. Okay, good. So first of all, as an electrical student, now switching your career into data science. So uh, what challenges uh, you are facing uh, and uh, are the things comfortable for electrical students also there? Basically, it is quite a little bit difficult, uh, but uh, if you want to cope up the like, you need to know the first of all, few language like C++ or uh, Python. That is the like more imp important thing for the uh, coming from the electrical background to data science background. So C++ so is, very, is generally all electrical students study in their BTEC curriculum. As I know, yeah, C, C and C plus, uh, like they no, not have good command in like C or C plus plus. But after uh, you are getting in data science, you need to be uh, as a uh, good in Python or in C plus plus, so that you you have machine machine learning courses and uh, deep learning courses and other uh, mathematic courses which are quite more important for it. So uh, that's why you need a. Uh, a good uh, command in python and all that so those who are willing to join this area and who have time they must uh, focus on some programming also yeah so that it becomes easy to study in iit jodhpur or any iit yes sir. so uh, what are your subjects right now in this sem first semester like I, I completed my first semester till now uh, uh, it's uh, second semester and now it started uh, just uh, one um, week before so okay. i studied like uh, basically that data and computational science is uh, on basis of mathematics uh, like uh, you very yeah, well yeah. know about uh, statistics and all that so i studied op optimization for data science also uh, introduction of data science and uh, statistics uh, for data science mm -hmm. and uh, basically uh, one of the more important uh, course we ha had studied last semester that is machine learning so machine learning is uh, implemented in the all over the field of, of uh, like uh, our environment civil electrical mm -hmm. any any kind of uh, you can see that uh, 
this is applied everywhere uh, what we will see so these are the subjects these are the courses we are studying till now and now deep learning is coming to the, the next semester okay so what is scholarship you are getting right now there in mtech can you repeat sir what is the scholarship amount you are getting there yeah it's 12400 uh, per month okay. and uh, you are in teaching assistantship right yeah uh, so many students join self sponsored program also in iit jodhpur okay yes, sir, some, uh, like... some join without assistantship so once you join, is there any difference between uh, the students in terms of uh, placement or any other degree, anything? No, sir. There will be no any kind of difference in the between uh, sponsored or uh, unsponsored. Only the thing is that uh, they are get uh, uh, sponsored. Uh, they are they can also get a, a, like assistance if, if they want to do. Uh, like they getting uh, six thousand per month if they want to do an assistant for any professor if they want to do it depend on the student and uh, who are the uh, MHRD uh, people like um, who qualify gate and all that so they are getting twelve thousand four hundred uh, per month okay, okay. and uh, any other scheme available in IIT Jodhpur for welfare of the students especially MTech students about which you know which you knew there, after going there, which even we did not tell you, but you knew there. Basically, welfare schemes or SC, ST, and OBC people are mm -hmm. there are uh, different some uh, given to them, so they can um, uh, do this. Like uh, I will say, uh, there are a lot of schemes, or you can um, through do this like. Okay, so many government schemes are there. Yeah, uh, like tribal for tribal peoples and uh, scheduled okay, caste. So the, these schemes provide some scholarship or some fee waiver or what things? Uh, they provide a scholarship, like basically. Other than you are getting in your TA, uh, there is possibility of getting some extra uh, scholarship there. Yeah, if anybody from sponsored seat, they can get the, uh, like. Uh, they can do assistance with any professor and they will pay you basically if you okay. are uh, getting yeah even if you don't have gate score then also you can get yeah scholarship yeah yeah by different you can get, uh, as, yeah yes okay so now uh, the uh, most of the students when join some institute their primary concern is regarding placements yeah. okay so uh, right now we are seeing in the market that there is some kind of recession we are listening by different uh, companies okay so maybe some uh, issues right now but in future how do you see the placement opportunities for data science students basically right now uh, the uh, processor for the uh, placements is like uh, uh, day one, day two, and day three. Is, uh, this is the procedure which is followed uh, in all the IITs. And uh, right now, day day one is completed. Uh, as far as far concern about data science people, uh, like twelve people are there, and six of them are placed. Uh, uh, one of uh, my friend uh, is senior. We can say uh, he is getting uh, sixty lakh package uh, in Rak Rakuten is a one of company. Of Japan, MTech students oh. getting sixty lakh package. Yeah, yes. and from which branch he is? Uh, CSE or from, electrical from, or from data science? From data science. No, no, no. his BTEC background is what? He is big, well, maybe electrical or mechanical. It's not uh, from coding background. Okay, known CSE students in data science getting sixty LPA right now in India. His work location will be India or abroad? Hello? Yeah. Hello, Deepak. Yes, yes, Deepak. So it's need not to be too much worry about uh, placement or all that. So if you, you can. Uh, those you get who want admission. to join in, in the month of April or May this year, next year. So for those 
there is no effect of recession in IIT Jodhpur. We can say, uh, right? Yeah. It, Not it, having any fear in mind, is. just go there, study there, and you will get opportunities. This is your message. Yeah, it definitely happens. If you are getting admission in IIT Jodhpur, you are getting placement definitely, like hundred percent placement for data science people. So it's not need not to be too much worry about placement. So all that you okay. need to be work here. Uh, one thing is more important. You need to be work on your skills and all that. So yeah, if that you is requirement of skills, every IIT. Yeah. Good. So you are, you belong to which city actually? Uh, I am from Rajasthan, Bikaner, sir. Okay, you are from Rajasthan and you are studying in Rajasthan itself, IIT Jodhpur. Yes, sir. So yes. that is a edge for you. Uh, yes, sir. So, okay. So any, any other special thing, point which you are getting in your mind, which you want to share with, with students? Uh, like uh, I have a very good experience with your media. Uh, like I may be paid uh, you people that, but uh, once I, I am getting into from the uh, IIT Delhi and you a uh, night before you told me that uh, better uh, this thing you can learn uh, day, day night before the night and the same thing asked by the interviewer that. Great the same thing uh, which i like i am uh, feeling very lucky that a, a teacher told me that chagi sir told me that and i feel like it's happened this is called experience this is called experience yeah so these moments are uh, source of motivation for us also thanks yeah. for remembering this uh, point this and, event uh, about the I talked uh, uh, like about data science. I talked uh, to uh, uh, Vijayendra sir also. He told me that uh, you should join uh, data science uh, as uh, uh, like uh, uh, I am getting also offer from IIT Jodhpur and uh, nee, sorry, IIT Mandi and IIT Roper. So uh, for, for the VLSI, but uh, he told me that you should take a, a data science. So this is a good guidance from the your videos. Okay, so in future you will definitely get many good opportunities and a very good career. Okay, and so, so. Uh, students must trust their mentors and uh, they must work hard and then they will definitely uh, achieve their dreams fulfilled. We can say. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Deepak, so it was very nice interaction with you uh, to get uh, much information and uh, I wish you all the best for your uh, good life ahead. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.